<laughs> okay, so uh, we are just going to do a bit of talking about the EV stuff, um, the EV specific stuff. Um, so, oh, actually, before I do, uh, just stick in the comments below where you're from, just so we can get an idea where people are from. Obviously, we're here in Wales specifically at this moment in time in our garage at the house, which is why it's a tip. Um, but it's where I've got the EV stuff uh, that we're going to talk about. So, uh, this here, <laughs> crazy dog in the background. So, this here is the, the EV package, if you like. So, we've got the battery pack here um, with the lid off, that's the lid there in the background behind me. And then we've got the, the motor stack, which has got the inverter and the PDM and stuff. If you don't understand what that means, that's fine. I don't fully. Um, so, we bought this package sort of separately in bits um, and it's all actually more straightforward than you think. Um, I was, I'm not an electric guy, if you know me at all, I'm not an electric guy. Um, so, I was a little bit overwhelmed initially coming into this, thinking that the EV stuff was going to be really complex and it's actually not as bad as you think. So, I'll explain very quickly. This is the, the battery pack out of the leaf. So this whole thing here literally sits under the floor of the Nissan Leaf. Um, and I think year-wise, this is like 2017, something like that. Um, and then the battery pack is made up of all these modules. And this is one of the modules here. So kind of laptop size, a bit smaller perhaps. Um, and, and, and in here, there's uh, there's 48 modules. So there's 48 of these, there's 24 in the back there, and then there's 24 here. Uh, and I think it's something like 380 volts or something that this gives us. Um, so this is our power source. This is the fuel tank, if you like. Moving over here to this stuff. So. We've got a briefly talk. So from where you are there, this is the motor right at the bottom. Um, up from there down is motor, and then you've got PDM and inverter, which is the stack on top um, where a lot of the electric stuff is. And then we've got all this wiring here, which looks a mess, which it is actually, and overwhelming, but it's actually really simple. There's a lot, there's not much to it. it that is the entire world wiring thing, the whole thing. Uh, and it's actually pretty basic. So um, I'll move up top. We've got this sort of board up top here, which has got a few switches, a uh, handful of relays, the ECU, if you like, um, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, and then yeah, a couple of relays and there's a little screen right over this side, which you might not see, um, which just gives us a bit of info uh, on the battery, its charge levels and stuff like that. Um, so, the ECU is from Resolve EV, and when I bought the motor, uh, I was recommended to use this uh, ECU because of its simplicity and, and, and the fact that it already is out there and stuff like that. And they're really, we'll stick a link uh, below the video. Um, they uh, have figured it all out. They've got it all sussed, and it was really easy for me, somebody who's not tech savvy when it comes to electric stuff, to literally wire this up from, which I don't have here, uh, their wiring diagram. So they've got all the information on what to, you need to go out and buy in terms of the EV stuff. Um, and uh, they show you exactly how to wire it up and it's really, really simple. And you can see here, like I've labeled everything. I probably didn't need to, but I've literally gone through and labeled everything. So it might look a mess, but it's actually a bit of an organized mess. Um, and in terms of making it function, you need a brake pedal and a throttle pedal from the uh, from the leaf. And then I've literally just wired it to some momentary um, switches. So you've got there, so I've got a regular ignition switch and then three momentary switches, which are your, your drive neutral and reverse. So forwards, backwards, and, and uh, go nowhere. Um, I would, uh, power this up and show you show it to you functioning but I pulled it to pieces to pull out one of the modules already so I needed this out of the pack 
um, so I've disassembled this so there isn't actually um, it's not actually functioning there so um, because I've disassembled it so I know we did video a few little clips so we'll see if we can insert them here somewhere This is the basic setup, it's super, super simple. If you've got any questions, again, stick them in the comments and um, I'll see if I can answer them. Um, and if not, I'll point you in the direction of somebody who can answer them. But it is really simple. So this battery pack weight-wise, um, so that's one module with 48 of them. Um, I think it's a couple of hundred kilos. So um, not super heavy, but not super light either. Um, there, I'll dug it. Um, so it's not super heavy. The, the motor and stack, I think, is probably going to be about 80 kilos. It's not that heavy. I think you can lift it. If you can get your arms around it, one person could lift it off the ground. Um, but the sub, I would say that if, if the battery pack weighs as much as the engine does, the motor and everything weighs as much as the gearbox and transfer box that's coming out of the series. So it's almost a like for like swap if you if you like. Um, space wise and how we're gonna package the motor is really easy. That will go in the engine bay where the existing engine is. Um, we're gonna use an LT230 transfer box um, in a divorced setup, which means it's gonna be on its own, not attached to anything other than the chassis. Um, and then we're going to run drive directly from the motor to the transfer box with no gearbox in between. And then the batteries we're going to try and package somewhere in the car. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, I like, so this is the front of the battery pack and then this is the rear here. I like how these are stacked. So they've got them all up on end like that um, and, and stacked neatly. So that's half the pack stacked like that. So I might end up stacking these to mimic that and then having two packs uh, of 24 and seeing where I can put them rather than having stuff tied around. I want to keep it all sort of sensible and just for ease, you know, if you really wanted to go to town packaging it so that you couldn't see stuff, then um, you could probably package them, you know, a few like that somewhere, a few like that somewhere and do it like that, but then that's more wiring um, and stuff. I just realised the spiders everywhere. <laughs> um, so yeah, so in terms of packaging the batteries, I think that's going to be the more difficult bit. Packaging the, the, the motor and the stack and everything is pretty straightforward because it is quite compact. Um, but yeah, so that's the basics. And then we've got, um, this is just a normal three pin uh, plug-in charger. So we plug in to charge the battery pack. And I got off of eBay. This I got off of eBay motor stack I got off of eBay I think um, as well so um, the only sort of aftermarket thing that's here is the Resolve EV ECU which is um, which we'll stick a link in the bottom uh, for you but everything else here currently is uh, is OEM the only thing that's not OEM uh, in addition to the Resolve EV will be the adapter which is a synchro gearboxes product which will give us the, the ability to put a prop shaft off the motor that will allow us then to go into something else. Um, to work on the batteries because this is a high voltage battery pack um, it, it is all straightforward stuff it's normal terminals buzz bars things like that uh, but it is high voltage so uh, the only tooling and stuff like that which you can probably see here was um, a really basic uh, sort of high voltage toolkit, so everything's insulated. So, for example, that's a 24 mil socket, um, and it's it's entirely insulated, and all the other tools are. And then we've got these high voltage gloves here. The spiders on everything. Uh, high voltage gloves here, which are like 10,000 volts, uh, 12,000 volts, effective. So you stick the gloves on. 
um, and use these insulated tools just to, to work with these bits just for safety. You probably don't need to, you know, um, I'm sure there's people who'll tell you otherwise, but I just I didn't fancy it electric unit. So uh, we just bought these and it wasn't very expensive stuff as well. Uh, eBay specials, I think. Um, so that there in its entirety is the EV package and that will is what will replace the engine gearbox and uh, fuel tank basically. So we're going to stick all that 2017 technology into 1950s uh, Land Rover series. So uh, check out the next video which will be coming up uh, on the screen probably very soon. Click uh, the subscribe button below uh, and then yeah join us here, probably not in the garage, probably in the workshop over there. So see you there.